Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Design Studio, and today in this tutorial we are going to cover finding SEO keywords for your online store. It's very, very crucial that you find the correct keywords to optimize for your products so that your products are found easily online in the search engines and that potential customers can find you quickly online. So first we are going to start off at Google AdWords, and this can be found by going to google.com backslash AdWords. And we are just going to sign in. And once we're signed into our account, we are going to go under Tools and Keyword Planner. So this is going to give us some great ideas for keywords that are in line with our products that we're selling on our site. And it also kind of will let us know the search volume for those keywords and what people are actually searching for. So under here, we're going to go for search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. And if you wanted to optimize a specific page on your site, like a landing page, you could enter that URL here. However, we're going to just enter some suggestions in the, your product or service field. So we are going to, for this example, pretend that we are selling baseball hats. So we are going to type in both baseball hat and the plural version baseball hats. And we can see how these compare in terms of how people are actually searching for them. So let's hit get ideas. And this is what we typed in for our search up here. And we're going to go right here to the keyword ideas tab. Okay, so these are are two that we typed in, and you can see here our average monthly searches. They're not too far off, however, sometimes you'll have where the plural version has 10,000 more searches a month than the singular version. So it's good to kind of see, and of course, if you do optimize your site for baseball hats, you will get baseball hat in there as well because that's part of the phrase. However, it is typical where whatever you optimize for the most, in terms of if you wanted to really specifically target baseball hat, that will give you a slightly better advantage in keyword ranking. So there are a few things that we're going to look at. So down here, these are our suggestions based on our tips that we put in before. So we can see here different ideas of custom baseball hats, college baseball hats, cheap baseball hats. So these are things that people are actually searching for on Google. And then we can see here how much the average monthly searches is. So there's a few different things to pick um, and look at whenever you're trying to pick your keyword that you're going to use for a product or for your site. So obviously the first thing is just to make sure that it's relevant to your site. If you don't even sell baseball hats, you don't want to use this keyword on your site because it's going to send the wrong kind of traffic to your site and you're not going to get sharing or reach your ideal customer. So you want to make sure that it is specific to what you're selling and your company. Um, then we also want to look at the average monthly searches, which you can see here. So right now it's sorting this by relevance. So we are going to click once and this is going to resort it. And so here's a lot of searches on that. And we're going to click one more time to go from the bottom up. So this is saying that there's 10 monthly searches for this. So that's pretty low. Um, so we want to actually scroll down to the bottom of the page and see if we can get some that's a little bit higher. Let's see, we're still a little bit low. I'm going to click through this a few times. Now one thing to think about is, so let's say for example, you did use one that was 100. While you may think at first that 100 average monthly searches is not a lot, however, if you have, let's say, 10 different keywords that you've optimized with 100 each, that's 1,000 searches coming to your site um, a month potentially. So that's still a good amount. So we're looking for a few different things when we're looking at this. So now we've kind of looked at our average monthly searches. If you wanted to target something very high, like you know, 20,000 searches a month, that's gonna be really high competition. So that may not be the best bet, but doing something with a little bit lower volume um, is gonna be easier for you to rank for earlier on. So let's find one here. 
so we will just go with ladies baseball caps. So let's say we're going to optimize for this on our site. We're looking at the average monthly searches, which is the 210, and then we're also going to look at something called the competition. The goal is to have a little bit lower or medium competition because the high means that there's just a lot of other people also competing for this keyword online. And you can see that in terms of the suggested bid. So we're under this column now. So suggested bid would be if you were doing Google AdWords and actually running ads. So that's the average cost per click that someone's paying. So someone is paying on average around $1.61 to send someone who's searching for this keyword, ladies baseball caps, to their site. So it's good to know in terms of if you wanted to run Google Ads later on, what your budget would kind of look like if you wanted to send a certain amount to your site. Um, obviously, like for example, how to clean a baseball hat. While it has a good amount of searches monthly, it has low competition and only nine cent uh, cost per click. So this may be a good thing to use as a keyword, not necessarily for a product, but for a blog post of how to clean a baseball hat. So there are a few different things to go in picking your keyword. So we've looked at the average monthly searches, we've looked at the competition and the suggested bid. So all of this kind of come into play as well as making sure that it's relevant to your site. You want to hopefully find a keyword that's both relevant to your site with a good amount of searches, a low to medium competition, and doesn't have too high of a suggested bid. You don't want to go with something that has around $10 or something for a click for that. And those are the things that you're wanting to do when finding a keyword for your product. In our next video that we're going to be releasing, we're going to go through how to actually optimize your keyword on your Shopify product site. So in the actual product backend of your Shopify store, I'll be showing you exactly where to put your keyword once you have picked whichever one you have decided on.